Unit 3, learning target number 8, interpret quotients of fractions. What does it mean to interpret the quotient of a fraction? Well, remember that a quotient is simply the answer to a division problem. So, the division problem of 8 divided by 2, the answer to that is 4. That is our quotient. That is the number of times 2 goes into 8. Now, we're going to talk about interpreting a quotient. To interpret something just means to make sense of it, or to understand it, or to explain it. Now we're told of a problem. You eat three-fourths of your candy bar. A hungry squirrel comes along and you decide to give half of what's left of your candy bar to the cute little squirrel. Look at him, he's beady-eyed little monster. Anyway, you're going to draw a picture to represent this problem. And then we'll find out what fraction of the whole candy bar each of us gets. Now. To do this, we want to divide this candy bar up into three-fourths. Three-fourths. We're going to divide it up into fourths. So we split it down the middle. That gives us half. And then we'll split each half in half. And that will give us a total of four-fourths. Now, we have eaten three-fourths of this candy bar, which means we have to subtract this much of it. And we've only got this much left. Then we're told that the hungry little squirrel comes along and we feel guilty for him. So, what do we do? We decide to give him half of our whatever's left over. So, we split this piece in half and give it to him. Now, the question is, how much does each of us get? Well, we'll get half, and the squirrel will get half. Does that mean we get each a half of a candy bar? Does the squirrel get half a candy bar, and you get half a candy bar? Well, no, of course not you get half of whatever is left over and that's one-fourth this is one-fourth of a candy bar so you each get one half of one-fourth now if we're to split this in half if we were to split this in half we would get one two three four five six seven eight total pieces so let's do that down here one two three four we'll split this side in half and split both halves in half and we wind up with eight total pieces we wind up with each one of us getting one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one out of eight. Now, what happens when we divide three, or rather, one fourth in half? We divide it by two. Well, we do our math. One fourth times one half is equal to one over eight, and that is the quotient. That is also what we got in our model. Let's take a look at a few more problems as we try to understand what exactly the quotient is when we talk about division problems. Here we're given a division problem, 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth. Now, when we do this, if you do just the same division of fraction problems, we remember keep, change, flip, we'll keep 3 fourths, we'll change that to a multiplication symbol, and then we'll multiply by 8 over 1. And that will give us 24 fourths, or 6. Now what does that mean? We have 6, but what does that mean? Well, let's shade the boxes to represent these problems. Here we're told that we have 3 fourths. So this is a bar that's divided into 4 pieces, and we have 3 of those. And we're told to divide it by 1 eighth. Now this bar has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces, and we have 1 of those. Now if we divide this 3 fourths by 1 eighth, what does it mean that our answer is 6? Well, if you look very carefully, you'll see it takes 6 of these little 1 8 pieces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, to fill up this space that's left over of the 3 fourths. So there are 6 pieces of 1 8 that go into the larger piece of 3 fourths. Let's see another example. Here we have 7 eighths. So we'll fill in seven of these guys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to divide that by one half. So we'll fill in one of these blocks. And let's do our math really quickly. What do we get? Well, seven over eight times two over one as we do our keep change flip. That gives us 14 over eight. We're going to get a mixed number. So how many times does eight go into 14? 8 goes into 14 1 and 6 eighths times, or we can simplify that to 1 and 3 fourths. Now again, what does that mean? 
Well, if you look at this, if we want to fill up this blue area, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spaces out of eight, it will take one half and another three fourths of a half. Here we have three out of a total of four. See this one, there's four to be taken out of three fourths. It will take one and three fourths halves to fill up this seven eighths. Now let's take a look at these fraction bars and see if we can understand what's going on here. Write the fraction represented by the fraction bars. Well, let's start off with the top one. This is one out of two, or one half. And we're dividing that by what? We're dividing it by three out of a total of eight, so three eighths. We'll do our division, which we know is keep, change, flip, so we keep the first fraction. We change the division to multiplication, and we flip the three eighths to give us eight thirds. Eight is one times eight, and 2 times 3 is 6. 6 goes into 8 one time and leaving 2 sixths, or we can think of that as 1 when we simplify it. 2 goes into 2 and to 6. 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 6 three times, and that leaves us with 1 and 1 third for our quotient. So what does that mean? Well, once again, we need to look at the piece that we're dividing into the other one. Here we have three pieces out of an eight piece whole and we're dividing up one half into these little pieces. How many of these will it take to fill this up? Well it takes one whole one so we have this piece right here which is one entire piece and then we have just a little bit more that it takes to fill it up. This is one third of this original piece. If you break these blocks up you get three pieces and this is one third so our quotient is one and one-third, one and one-third. Here's our second problem. We have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks out of eight, and we're dividing that by one block out of four, which is one-fourth. Again, we do our division, keep, change, flip. We multiply across the top. Six times four is 24 and across the bottom 8 times 1 is 8 and then we simplify how many times will 8 go into 24 three times and that is our quotient so what does that mean once again let's look over here how many of these blue pieces will it take to fill up this red area one two and three fill in these guys and we wind up with three of these little blue pieces required to fill in this red area and that is our quotient before we finish talking about interpreting quotients, let's do one more word problem. Here we find out that Javier is freezing some fish he caught on a recent fishing trip. Each bag can hold three and one half ounces of fish. He has eleven and two thirds total ounces of fish. How many bags will he need? So he has a bunch of fish. Now, I don't know how to draw fish, so this is the best that I can do. We know that he has eleven and two-thirds ounces of fish. And he wants to break that up into little, let's we'll say, Ziploc baggies full of fish. Each Ziploc baggie will have three and one-half ounces. What do we need to do? We need to take this whole big pile of fish and break it up into some number of little bitty baggies. How can we do that? We'll need to divide. So. 11 and 2 thirds, the first thing we have to do is convert that to an improper fraction. 11 times 3 is 33, plus 2 is 35, 35 thirds, divided by 3 and 1 half, converted to an improper fraction. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7, gives us 7 halves. Then we're going to do our keep, change, flip. We keep the first fraction, 35 thirds. We change our, our division sign to multiplication, and then we flip our 7 halves to give us 2 sevenths. And that leaves us with 70 twenty-firsts. Now we'll change that back to a mixed number. How many times does 21 go into 70? Well, let's see. 21 goes into 70. Let's try 3 times. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. That leaves us with a remainder of 7. 3 remainder 7, that leaves us 
as a mixed number of 3 for the whole number and 7 21sts. 7 21sts. So how many bags will we need? 3 and 7 21sts. Well, we can't really have 7 21sts of a bag. We can't get half a bag. So how many bags will we need? We need 3 and one more. We will need four bags.